You know what's funny, mate? This was just another buzzing Tuesday, but boy, did I stumble upon something sparkling. Guess what? I found this old, dilapidated wall hidden away in one of those mysterious soul alleys. It wasn't just any old wall, though. It was crying out for some of my creative spirit. And it yanked me into this revolutionary idea, creating a mural using, drumroll, light painting photography. Yes, exactly. Light painting on a wall in an alleyway. My photographer friend Sang Wu and another pal, Jin A, who's an architect, were completely roped into this with me. You'd have had a laugh watching us experiment with colors, adding some flares and strokes. The dim, forgotten alley suddenly turned into a vibrant artist's hub. I never thought I'd be doing something like this. Isn't it amazing how once you start looking at things differently, the world is full of these nooks and crannies just waiting to be explored and turned into something beautiful? Speaking of diving into new things, we were having this chat. Yuna was talking about her latest obsession with a podcast on sea creatures. And then came up this interesting idea of an underwater mural, a vibrant homage to Yuna's sea creatures she loves so much as she continues her podcast journey to the deep end of the ocean. And look at you, uh, always ready for some under-the-sea edutainment. I can imagine all of us jamming to the rhythm of the ocean listening to this podcast while I dish out some scrumptious spaghetti. Ah, makes me feel I have the best friends. Calm, crazy, and always up for impromptu nights. I guess I should take a leaf out of her book and listen to it while I'm kneading my dough. That might just be the secret to the perfect sourdough. Who knows? But mate, have you ever tried light painting? It's surprisingly calming and super fun. Somehow it made the whole place light up and I felt like a tall chef baking a city-sized pizza. The wall was my canvas, and the torch my tomato sauce. Even thought of integrating it with my cooking. Maybe bake some colorful, light-painted breads. Hey, there could be a market for it. You know me, my food and my random musings. Isn't it amazing how I am channeling my passion for food into crafting? Just imagine, instead of a whisk or a ladle in my hand, Today I wielded a hacksaw. Yes, your guess is as good as mine. I was deep into a delightful DIY project. You won't believe, but I crafted a pizza peel. You know Stella's contribution in my budding DIY skills deserves much applause. She is a real whiz at it. But let me tell you, this was quite a journey. My hands aren't as deft with a hacksaw as they are with a whisk. But when you're the child of a baker, you're used to craftsmanship on finer details. That's when my culinary and woodworking skills merged, bringing to life a unique pizza peel from scrap wood. This experience included more than a few scrapes, but when I finally held up the fruit of my labor, it was worth it. My newly minted peel was truly something to behold. That dear friend is the very feeling of accomplishment. I shared my little victory with Yuna and Juwan today. They were quite thrilled. Juwan jested, asking where he could sign up for the first pizza with my new tool. Ha! I love their enthusiasm. As for Yuna, she made a slightly unusual request. Octopus topping. Gave different meanings to the term pizza topping, all right. But so be it. The next pizza night is going to be under the stars. You know, there seems to be quite a spectacle in the night sky tonight. A comet, if you believe the news. And a celestial show of that magnitude deserves a feast, one that's out of this world. So picture this, my friend, a rooftop, starry sky, scrumptious pizza, great company, and the comet lighting the way to a fantastic night. Talking about all this pizza is making me eager to test out my new pizza peel. I'm off to whip up some dough. Perhaps I'll switch up the flavors a bit and we'll see what specialties the night brings. Isn't it amazing how sometimes the most outlandish ideas can turn out to be the most rewarding ones? Now you must be wondering what made me ponder over this out of the blue. Well, it's the cooking club. Yes, that's right. Our bouldering community now has a cooking club too, thanks to a sudden brainwave I had today. 
It was just a run-of-the-mill day when I thought of melding two of my greatest passions, cooking and bouldering. I mean, why not write? We cook, we eat, and we bond. And guess what? Yuna and Juwan were all in before I could even finish my sentence. Surely I am surrounded by adventurous souls. And that's not it. The cooking club is here to stay. We've decided on making it a monthly affair, a day when everyone would cook their signature dish and we would feast upon. Just imagine the aroma of varying cuisines enveloping us as we scale the boulders. Such a bliss. You should see the excitement in Yuna and Juhuan. They're already planning their dishes, discussing ingredients, and the funniest bit. They're even considering practice cooking sessions. Oh, and here's a savory detail for you. The next dish on Yuna's list is seaweed salad, and Juwan is planning to whip up some delicious kimchi fried rice. Now that's something we all could look forward to, right? Remember our first tryst with cooking back in college? We almost set the kitchen on fire. But look where we are today. We've come a long way. From accidental chefs to intentional cooks. Isn't it fascinating how we've grown? From being terrified of slicing onions to basking in the delight of creating culinary masterpieces. Talking about tunes and melodies, Juwan's hooked to shine your light by our very own BTS, and guess who he's getting DJ lessons from? None other than me. Don't you think it'll make a perfect soundtrack to our cooking sessions? A little bit of BTS, a whole lot of bread, and an unforgettable culinary journey. Sounds like one musical recipe, doesn't it? While we're on the topic of food and music, it reminds me of how life's too short for anything but the best. Whether it's an artisanal sourdough or a harmony-filled K-pop tune, everything should feed the soul, shouldn't it? You know what? I need to get into the kitchen now. I promised Yuna and Joanna a pizza party to celebrate our upcoming culinary adventures. But stay tuned, my friend. I'll keep you posted with all our food-filled escapades in the bouldering club. Till then, happy cooking, happy climbing, and most importantly, stay curious.